Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at the TechStop.net. We're here again at Interop. I'm here with Ryan Woodings, the owner and the founder of Metageek. He's here to show us some of the products that allow you to do, uh, well, this is an analysis of spectrum? Yeah, spectrum analysis. Okay, so tell me, tell me, what am I looking at here? Okay, uh, with well, spectrum analysis, mainly we're showing the physical layer of networks. Um, so if you have like Wi-Fi networks and you're getting interference from cordless phones, microwave ovens, just the random devices are out there, right? Um, a lot of your normal Wi-Fi tools won't show you that. So the physical layer, we can show you all the different signals of what's out there and help you kind of visualize your wireless landscape. Okay, so I mean, I, I understand that. I'm, I'm a geek. I, I love looking at Spectrum. Yeah. I understand that my wireless devices are going to be operating at 2.4 or 5 gigahertz for networking. Okay. But, I mean, explain to anyone else who hasn't really done a lot of work with this, why would they want to know what the Spectrum looks like? Mm -hmm. Well, like say, you know, your Wi-Fi network is running at 2.4 gigahertz, and you have your 2.4 gigahertz cordless phone. And sometimes it can be overlapping channels. And so the two signals can be transmitted at the same time and basically collide with each other and cancel each other out. And so with our tool, you can see the packets colliding and that you, know, you need to change channels. Or our tool will help you see the, where channels will be quietest okay. and be away from the other interface. So like, for example, if I was looking at deploying a wireless network in an area that's pretty busy, I would take one of these devices, I would do a walk around and just say, okay, what noise is there? What channels would I best pick? Yeah. Our tool is a nice little USB-based device. You just plug in your laptop, just walk around and see what channels are the quietest, if there's potential interference. You can use it to track down, like maybe a, your, maybe your neighbors have like a baby monitor that's going to cause problems. You can go over there and see what's going on or track down a cordless phone. Now, this, this is it. This is the entire device yeah, right here. Yeah, this entire device right here. So how does this work? You just plug it in and just go? Or? You plug it in, and we have software that comes on a CD. You can download it, and the software graphs everything that's going on. That's it's just plug and play. I understand you have, uh, this is what, the 2.4 gigahertz, and then this is the 5, or is it the other way around? Um, this little guy right here is 2.4 gigahertz, mm -hmm. and then this one is dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Oh, okay. And that one you're holding is a new prototype of a 900 megahertz version. Oh. Who, who do you see it buying these? Um, it's more on the industrial side. Right. Like right. warehouses, inventory tracking type things. Okay. Well, I see you've got some pretty cool screens here. Take me through what I'm seeing. What kind of views can I get from, uh -huh. from, uh, from the white spot? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, let me plug it back in. Just a second. Okay, so this is showing you a um, three dimensional view of this is your frequency. So 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. Uh -huh. And the amplitude and the coloration is amplitude, so you can see how strong the signals are as over time. Right. And so here we can see channels one, channel six, and channel eleven. That's where it's uh, mostly active. And then um, you can see here the network's very active, so there's lots right. going on. Right. But normally you see that kind of stop and come back on. You can see there's some activity at that time. Um, so this is kind of a good overview. We have some more uh, basic okay. views. Um, here the yellow is your current, the green is your average signal strength and blue is your maximum it's ever seen. So it's good to kind of see where it's quiet. Like in here, it's a little quiet in here, it's definitely quiet on, on the top end over here. Um, yeah, so there's definitely that, that noticeable, the three bumps yes. of the three different channels. Yes, very noticeable. What, what am I seeing when I see these little spikes within the frequencies? Um, like in here, where it kind of drops down? Right, well, like I'm seeing this. The yellow? Yeah, the constantly updating. and That's the current activity, what's going on oh, right okay, now. So those okay. are the actual packets going across. Now, you, you, you mentioned that this is an atypical situation because we've got, I think, Last time we checked, there's about 500 APs operating in uh, a football stadium yes. <laughs> area. Uh, what would it normally, I mean, would you normally see like flat line and then just a few peaks or? or yeah, normally it'd be pretty flat in here in the green, maybe some peaks. Um, this is over time view, and you can see it's very constant. Normally what you'd see is a lot of blue, and then a little bit of like green and red. Right. Now, I have to ask this, because I, I remember when I was in college, so far ago. I, I, I looked at buying a spectrum analyzer and yep. it was up in the range of like ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Yep. Please tell me this is not ten, twenty, or thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> no, no, we tried to um, that's one reason why I have just a small like hardware device and lots of software. So we range anywhere from ninety nine dollars for Whoa. just a two by four only okay. to five ninety nine for the dual band mm -hmm. with external antenna. And uh, when you when this is available, because I know it's still sort of the yeah. early phases, what would I be looking like uh, looking, looking at for that? One ninety nine for the nine hundred megahertz. Really? Oh, not bad at all. Okay, so if you're looking for spectrum analysis, if you want to get into the whole wireless game, if you want to see what's around you and not be left in the dark, you got to stop by their website at where? At metageek.net. And check out the Wi-Spy. Remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.